Today I'll be showing you guys a dumpster diving resource per suggestion. This resource is highly customizable and has some realistic features that you can choose to use or turn off if you don't like the realism. As always, I'll leave the link to the resource in the description if you want to check it out. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once we're here, we're going to hit the green code and do download zip. Once that's done, we're going to open that up and we're also going to open our server resources. Let's just move this over here. Now from here, we're going to drag this into our server resources. And once it's there, we're going to rename it and remove the master. Whenever you are installing stuff, if it says master or main at the end, be sure to rename it and take it out. From here, we're going to go to our server CFG and ensure the resource. Go so type the folder name. And then we're going to hit file and save. After you've done that, we're going to go to the config and see what options are available and see if we need to change anything before we test it out. Let's go back to the resource and then open up the config. So the props are the objects you can search. You don't really need to touch this, but if you want to add or remove them, you can. If you want to add props, I'll leave a link in the description to the website for the prop names and you can go from there. Below that is a cooldown feature. You can have it reset when the server restarts by turning it to true or have a time set, whatever you want in minutes by keeping it to false and then changing this to whatever you want in minutes, obviously. The next part is the mini game, which is a task that's done before the searching starts. You have the option to turn this off by just changing this to false. You can use QB lock, the memory game or PSUI. I'll leave it at PSUI because I do have that resource installed. The next one is just how long it takes for the progress bar to fill up and complete the actual search. My default is three seconds. You can make this shorter or longer. Depending on what items you set for rewards or how you want your server to be, you can choose to make dumpster diving illegal and possibly have the police alerted when players are doing the action. You can set the chances of being alerted below that, and you can change the dispatch to whichever one you use if it's supported. You have PS dispatch and the default QB core options. If you want a realism effect or Whatever, you can enable people getting hurt while searching because they are searching through trash. And you can set the chance of them getting hurt if they can bleed, the bleeding chance, and the minimum and maximum amount of damage that can be done to them. All right, so this whole section is about looting. So you can set this to people getting one item per search by changing this to false. If you want them to get multiple items, you can leave it at true. This number is the maximum amount of items they can get within the multi-loot. You can change this as you wish. And then this is the items that they can get. You have the chances of them getting each item, the minimum of the item they'll get, and the maximum. You can add or remove as you want. Just make sure you follow the format here. And make sure you go to the items.lua and get the correct name or else it won't work. All right, once you have everything adjusted to your liking, just hit file and save. The next part is optional and just deals with changing the wording in the script. If you don't want to do this, you can start your server and test out the resource. Alright, so we're going to go back to the resource, and we're going to go to the locale section. We're going to go into the English one, and this just changes some of the notifications and language that's used. So this label is what you'll see with the third eye. So where it says dive in, I'll, I'll change this to search dumpster. And you got is the rewards you get if you do find something in the dumpster. So instead of it saying you dived in the dumpster, I'm going to change it to you search the dumpster and then got nothing is if you find nothing. So again, I'll change it to you search the dumpster. So you can make these say whatever you want. I'm just going to go through and do that. Alright, so where it says progress, this is what the progress bar will say when you're doing the search. So I'm just going to change it to searching trash. The next part is the message the police will see if you chose to keep this as an illegal activity. I'm just going to leave that the same. From here, we're going to hit file and save and we can test out the resource.
Alright, as you can see, we're in the server. I'm just going to make sure my inventory is empty. I'm going to go ahead and search this dumpster. Alright, so I found a couple items, and here they are. Everything's working fine. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to comment down below.